2017 Nissan Micra IGT90 Techno Review. 8 point. Not quite a class leading return to form, but a more stylish and tech savvy kind of Micra than we've ever known and an encouraging one to drive. What is it? Do not adjust your sets, ladies and gentlemen it really does say Micra on the bootlet of the bold and alluring looking hatchback you're looking at. It's hard to believe, partly because daring looks don't rank among the strengths that this long-lived super mini has built a reputation for over its 30 years on sale. But the fourth generation Nissan Micra that's now being ushered into the waste paper basket of automotive history was both singularly undesirable and execrable to drive. Micras have not always been thus, but the last one certainly was. The new one, however, is anything but. So much we already know, of course, after a lengthy drive in a prototype Micra late last year. Now comes the chance to drive the finished car, which arrives in UK showrooms in, wait for it, March, a gag there for anyone who knows what this car is called in many other global markets. Waka Waka. How we laughed, ahem. The new fifth generation Micra is built on an updated version of the same V platform that underpinned the last version but has undergone radical change under the skin, major mechanicals shared between the last Micra and the new one number only the engine mountings and the relative location of the car's pedals, some of the suspension components and the fuel tank. The new Micra has a power steering system derived from that of the Nissan Cash K, a completely reconfigured chassis, wider axle tracks, a lower center of gravity, all new seats and interior, and a choice of engines and transmissions sourced from Alliance partner Renault. For now, the most powerful of those engines is the 898 cubic centimeters turbo petrol 3 pot that also serves in the Renault Clio and Twingo, producing up to 94 bhp and 111 pounds foot of torque on overboost. Now built in a Renault factory in France and developed for the most part at Cranfield, UK, the new Micra is out to prove that it can represent the subcompact car as only Europe knows how to make it. Among the segment firsts it brings to the table are a camera-based active lane keeping system, around view parking cameras and an innovative premium audio system from Bose with near field speakers housed in the driver's head restraint. And for those more interested in the driving experience, this is a car benchmarked against the very best in the class and which, on this evidence, won't give the likes of the VW Polo, Ford Fiesta and Mazda 2 an easy time when push comes to shove on UK roads. What's it like? The Micra's cabin smacks of the same feather ruffling ambition as the exterior. The quality of its plastic moldings is consistently high-end, although you do have to pay for a higher-end model to get the more colorful finishes and richer material touches of our Technograde test car, the Microsoft Touch Rolltop dashboard and attractive chrome accents come as standard. Like its power steering system, the Micra's instrument pack comes from a cash K, as does the 5.0 in color drive assist trip computer screen and so both are a good size and supremely readable. Tight back seat space is the one serious black mark you can level at the car, although there's still enough room to get bulky child seats in and out easily. Otherwise, the Micras is an interior that bears comparison with the very best. Both the 898 cubic centimeters turbocharged petrol version of the Micra and the 1.5 liter diesel were available at the European press launch, and both produce a nominal 8.9 bhp, with the entry-level 72 bhp 1.0 liter 3-cylinder petrol set to follow on. Considering the hefty 1,350 pounds premium that Nissan is asking for the oil burner, the fact that it would actually be a more expensive prospect than the equivalent petrol on company car tax, and the general kicking that diesel emissions are getting in the national press at the moment, you'd expect a dwindling proportion of customers to be interested in the DCI. Both turbocharged derivatives get a noise-reducing acoustic windscreen as standard, however, and both operate with good mechanical refinement the three-cylinder petrol in particular running more smoothly and quietly than we've found it in other applications. The three-pot petrol definitely makes for the sweeter all-round drive in this new Micra, its relative lightness allowing for softer spring rates on the car's front axle than the diesel runs, and a marginally more settled ride. On performance, 
there's a softness to the engine's pedal response that makes it feel a little reluctant at first. Even at maximum torque, it doesn't pull quite as stoutly or feel as flexible or as linear as other downsized turbo petrols. Nonetheless, it does a very creditable job of motivating what's a relatively light super mini, through a nicely weighted and agreeable 5-speed manual gear change. On ride and handling, Nissan's mission was to approach the agility and verve of a Ford Fiesta and the planted, rubber-footed composure and maturity of a VW Polo, an impossible brief, really. But, although the finished Micra doesn't end up beating either rival on their own terms, it does split the difference between them with some success. The Micra steers with more lightness and less pace than the Ford, but handles with similar fluency and feel, rides with a noisier, busier, springier gait than the VW, but with better isolation and absorption than most of its competition. It corners with good grip, crisp chassis response, fine body control and discreet electronic stability management, making a keen virtue of its compact size but obvious without compromise to its low-speed ride. It's got a comparable understated kind of dynamic polish as the Mkeen Micra had, in fact without managing to be particularly memorable or special. Should I buy one? You should definitely give it a chance. After a regrettable hiatus, the Nissan Micra is back to its very best as a small car presented and executed to an apparently high European standard and in almost every way that matters. Also styled and equipped like Nissan means business, the Micra has just confirmed what our earliest impressions suggested a couple of months ago, that Nissan's deadly serious about forcing its way back to the sharp end of one of the most important parts of this continent's car market and that any buyer would be unwise to overlook one of its very best recent efforts. Nissan Micra IGT90 Tecna Location, Dubrovnik, on sale, now, price, £17,295. Engine, 3CYLS in line, 898 cubic centimeters, turbocharged petrol, power 89 bhp, torque, 104 pounds foot, gearbox, 5 SPD manual, curb weight, 1082 kilograms, 0 to 62 miles per hour, 12.1 SEC, top speed, 109 miles per hour, economy, 61.4 mpg, CO2 slash tax band, 104G slash KM, 19%. Rivals, Ford Fiesta Titanium 1 Ton 100, Mini Cooper 5DR.